Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is faithful by whom we were called to the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. This is about your finances. This is about your money. This is about your wealth. And this is about your riches. You must understand one thing. This is about to be direct. And this is about to be amazing. Believe and focus is what is going to make what you are listening to right now come to pass. I say it again. Believe and focus is going to make what you're listening to right now come to pass. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, before I go ahead to say and explain, explain this particular prophetic word, we had a particular live session just days back, and I was talking and I said, prayers gives opportunity or brings opportunity, but wealth doesn't come in opportunity or with opportunities. And if you're not somebody who easily picks offense, you will sit and you will hear or whatever you're doing, or however you're listening to this record right now, or this video, this message, you will hear me talk. Prayers will give you opportunities. But it is not the opportunities that will give you the wealth. What gives you money? What brings you riches? What brings you to the place where you're so wealthy is principle. It is your obedience to kingdom principle that will guarantee your enjoyment in the kingdom economy. There is what is called an economy in the kingdom. And everybody who enjoys the kingdom economy always obeys the rules and the laws and the principles that governs that economy. If you don't have an obey those principles that governs the economy you're going to go down so you want to go higher you respect the rules better so it is principles that makes people rich it is not prayers prayers brings the people to platforms where they can be rich but the people have to obey the principles and the laws of that platform just so they can make it if you understand this you're never going to be broke you're never going to be poor. Yeah, you're not. You're not. One of the principles of wealth is not withholding. It is sending out. One of the principles of wealth is not withholding. It's sending out. You want to send it out. So what you keep holding cannot multiply. What you send out will multiply. So what you're so stingy about, you can never have. There are people who have said, if God blesses me with this contract, with this job, I'm going to pay my tithes. And God is saying that I've given you little money before. You've never paid tithes for that money, which means if I bless you tomorrow, you will still not pay. A character doesn't that doesn't change now will not change tomorrow. Any relationship that the person does not change in some characters, the relationship will not change later. The first principle of wealth, riches, is when you're ready to let it out. You're ready to give. You must be ready to give. What you give is what comes back to you. That's what the Bible says, right? It shall come back to you. Shake it together, pressing down. Shall men pour into your bosom? Men will pour into your bosom when you give it out. So you must learn to give. 
There are people who have said, oh, if I have this job, if I have this opportunity, I'm going to sow this seed. And God is saying, I've given you small, small opportunities and you've never sown a seed. What more of now? Please, I beg you. What you withhold, you cannot have. When people ask me, Pastor, at your age, God has blessed you financially. And how do you do it? What is your sacred? I tell them my sacred is giving. Now, the sacred is so foolish and it sounds so foolish. But the sacred sounds meaningful only to people who practice it. I give like a fool. I'm a dangerous giver. God uses me to send people to school, parents for people, feed families. I do a lot of things. I do that like a fool. But ask me how I receive that money. I cannot explain. So this is a principle that it looks foolish. Sometimes you just notice that you sow the seed and all of a sudden the Lord provided. You cannot explain. That is God telling you trust so the kingdom of god you have to focus and you have to believe when you're working hard it is not prayers that will make you to work hard no it is principles that to make you to work hard prayers will bring you to the place where you can work hard principles will finish it for you when you obey the rules that governs wealth you will have wealth giving is one of the best rules as time goes by, I'm going to be teaching it more. Somebody, you're about to be rich in seven figures. Seven. You will be rich in seven figures. You will be rich, not six figures, in seven figures. Which means there must be a two first before the other zeros. You will be rich in seven figures. Mark this. But you must learn to follow the principle of the economy that governs giving, that governs receiving, that governs wealth. If you give back, God will make men pour out into your bosom. I pray that you practice this for your own good. In Jesus' name, amen. If this word has blessed you, you want to sow a seed to this particular prophetic word, there is something you feel really led to do and say, I want, I believe in this word. I want to plant a seed for seven figures. I want to sow a seed. However, you... You must learn to obey kingdom kingdom principle. Forget about people telling you that tithe is the Old Testament. When you pay tithes, God says the devourer will not steal from you. I am one of the people that tithes have helped 100%. I keep paying my tithes, and that principle of tithes have helped me 100%. I've seen people who have paid their tithes to my ministry. I've dedicated time to praying for them. I mean, I've dedicated time to praying for them. And some of them, I call them personally and say, how are you? I want to pray with you on this because I've seen your devotion in this ministry. Few do because I don't do that to everybody. I'm a very principled lady. No matter what you do, I'm not that easily moved. Hallelujah. God bless you all. You want to pay your tithes to this ministry? Make sure you're writing and you're saying, this is my tithe. Okay, I'm making different prayers for you. You want to sow a seed and say, I want to connect to this word. I want to plant a seed. Once you're doing that, make sure you're titling that. You can do that through my catch up, PayPal, through Super Chat, Super Sick, as your lead. You want to be a, a member in this ministry. The membership is open. You can get there. You can join the membership. That is our way of supporting this ministry. God bless you. God bless you. I pray. I speak increase. I speak wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will testify to the glory of God. Somebody, if I'm talking to you, please type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, I will be rich in seven figures. It will come true for you. It will happen. It will come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. Give you cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, please do not forget to pray for me as the spirit of the Lord to lead you. I love you so much. God bless you. Shalom.